so sorry I didn't post a video last week, but I did get all four of my wisdom teeth removed, so it was kind of intense and I didn't prep properly to give you guys a video. But you get coffee bean. Yeah, I know. I'm gonna get and I get juice. Java juice? Yeah. I don't want that. I don't want coffee bean. So lame. So, yeah, I think we'll be all right. I don't <gasps> think any thugs are gonna. I to eat with a spoon? Yeah. I really want a Western bacon cheeseburger. I know. I'll eat one for you. I can eat me some Carl's Jr. Don't even get me started. I saw this on Pinterest and I've always wanted to make it, but I've never had a couch that really needed it because we either had like side tables near us or we had a really awesome ottoman. But then Paul and I started redoing our backyard and we bought the cloud couch for Restoration Hardware, which is just legitimately a huge white cozy sucks you in couch. But the one issue that we ran into when we sat back there to watch movies is if we were drinking something or we were eating something, we would have these trays, but since the couch is so soft, it would kind of dip down and then the food would slide towards us or our drinks would kind of fall towards us. That pin popped in my head and I decided to give it a go. Moving into this video, just so you're aware, I stained my wood to match the other wood that is outside in our backyard. You can spray paint it, you do not have to stain it. Stain is kind of a bitch, I'm not even gonna lie, because it got everywhere, it got me so messy, it got all my clothes dirty, um, but I might just be stain challenged, so I don't really know. Before we get started, do not forget to hit that subscribe button down below. If you are not a subscriber yet, please join my family. I am so hyped with the progression of my channel and what I have in the works for you guys. And I would really love for you guys to follow along. So let's get started. Everything you're gonna need for this DIY is listed below in the description. Take your tabletop piece, lay it down, and you're gonna start to prep it with the bracket. I lined up one of the sleeves to the edge of the tabletop and put the brackets right up against it so I knew exactly where I needed to drill. Once those were lined up where I wanted them, I took a pencil and I circled in those holes so I knew where my screws were going to go. You're not screwing in the side pieces yet. You're only gonna screw in the four that you see me do here since you're prepping the tabletop piece with the brackets. The brackets move around once you put one screw in, so that's why I realigned the sleeve piece to make sure that the brackets are remaining in place where I wanted them to be. This will ensure when you do screw in the sleeve piece, it stays flush to the side. Go ahead and repeat exactly what you just did to the other side. Now we're gonna add the side pieces. To seal the deal with the side pieces, I took Gorilla Glue and I did a little strip, put my piece on top of it and let it sit for a second before I decide to screw it in. My hopes is that it gives it a little bit more security. Be sure to hold the piece to make sure it's staying right where you want it to and then go ahead and screw the screws in. Mine weren't perfect, but they lined up like this. Again, repeat exactly what you just did to the other side. Flip it over and there you go. You have the perfect wooden sleeve for your couch. You know your girl's OCD, so I added satin flat weather spray to protect the sleeve from getting damaged outside. Because I stained my sleeve rather than spray painting it, I lined the interior with a little bit of glue and fabric to make sure the stain didn't rub off to my couch. There's 
a simple solution for couch problems that we have and it is great for entertaining too because you could just slip them on when you have company over so you know everybody has room for their drinks. Don't forget to leave a comment down below giving me more ideas for DIYs. Give this video a thumbs up if you like these Pinspired videos. And again, do not forget to subscribe to my channel and join my family. I cannot wait to show you what's coming up. We are going to start traveling soon for Street League season and I am so excited to vlog those experiences with you. I have the most incredible guests lined up for more pieces on how they're living to DIY. And all around you're just going to get a big sneak peek into my life because I know that you guys like the DIYs and the, the living to die but I also want to show you who I am and what I represent. All my social media is linked below so connect with me outside of this little YouTube bubble. Alright guys I'm going to head out of here. I hope you have a great rest of your week and I will see you next Wednesday.